solve for s. And we have s squared minus 2s minus 35 is equal to 0. So when you have an equation like this, what you want to do, you're going to find that with traditional algebraic methods, it's, you're not going to be able to actually solve for s. What you want to do is factor this expression on the left-hand side, and then use, use the knowledge that if you have the product of a bunch of things equaling 0, then at least one of them has to be equal to 0. So let's factor this thing on the left. So s squared minus 2s minus 35. So what we want to do is look for two numbers whose sum is negative 2. So we want to look for a plus b, whose sum is equal to negative 2, and whose product is negative 35. So a times b is equal to negative 35. And since the product is negative, we know that they have to be of different signs. And so let's just factor 35. It could be, it could be plus or minus 1, and then negative or positive 35. If I, have if I have positive 1 and negative 35, they add up to negative 34. The, if I switch their signs, I get positive 34. That doesn't work. Then I go all the way to 5 and 7. 5 and 7. If I take, and I'll do it separately here, if I take positive 7, if I take positive 5 and negative 7, what does the product equal? So that equals negative 35, as it should. And then if I take their sum, 5 plus negative 7, that equals negative 2. So that worked. So those are our two numbers. And so you could use the pattern um, immediately to say, OK, this is going to be s plus 5 times s times. So you can immediately go that, the, hey, this is going to be the same thing as s plus 5 times s plus negative 7. That that's that over here is equal to 0. But I'll, do, I'll add one step in there just to show you that we can use this information to factor by grouping. So what we can do here is we could say, we, let's separate this negative 2s as the sum here. So let's write it as s plus 5s, oh, sorry, s squared plus 5s plus negative 7s minus 35. And of course, we have that being equal to 0. All I did is I separated this negative 2s into this 5s and this negative 7s and added parentheses. Now you can factor an s out of here. You have s times s plus 5. And then to that, you're going to add, you can factor out a negative 7 here. Negative 7 times s plus 5. And then we can factor out an s plus 5. So you get s plus 5. right? I'm factoring out an s plus 5. So you get an s plus 5 times what we have left is an s plus negative 7, or that's the same thing as an s minus s minus a 7. And of course, all of that is equal to 0. And I want to make it clear. A lot of times, or the way I learned it, you can actually skip pretty fast to that step right over there. Because if you have anything of the form, if you have anything of the form s, s plus a times s plus b, when well, you take this product, it's going to be s times s, which is s squared plus s times b, which is bs, plus a times s, which is as, plus ab. And so you can add these two middle terms. And you get s squared plus a plus bs plus ab. So we found two numbers that added up to negative 2, a plus bs, and with their product is negative 35, ab. So we could say, hey, if we know those two numbers, if a is equal to if a is equal to 5 and b is equal to negative 7, then this just becomes s plus 5 times s plus negative 7, or s minus 7. So that's kind of the faster way to do it. But it never hurts to see that we can really just kind of uh, uh, unpackage this negative 2s and do it by grouping. But now that we've factored, we can use the the realization or the property I guess you could say if I have to take the product of two numbers and s plus five is a number you are an expression you could view it that way and s minus seven is another number let me write it here if I had x times y and that is equal to zero I know that either x is zero or y is zero because their product is zero so at least one of them's got to be zero maybe both of them so we know over here either either s plus five is equal to zero or or s minus 7 is equal to 0. Now, if s plus 5 is equal to 0, we can subtract 5 from both sides, and you get s is equal to negative 5. 
If s minus 7 is equal to 0, you can add 7 to both sides, and you get s is equal to 7. So those are both of our solutions. And we can even verify that they work. So if you put negative 5 in here, negative 5 squared is 25. Negative 5 times negative 2 is plus 10. And then you're subtracting 35. That does add up to 0. So this one works. And then let's try it with 7. So 7 squared is 49 minus 14 minus 35. Well, 49 minus 14 is 35. You subtract another 35, you get a 0 again. So they both work.